so is the ppt visible to all on uh, okay good so good evening to all of you i welcome you all on the behalf of the department of english it happens again Okay, we'll start. I welcome you all for today's session. Uh, in the last lecture, we have discussed Three Sisters by Anton Chekhov, and uh, we also discussed uh, the one survey topic or general topic that is Russian theatre. students in the last lecture i have discussed introduction of the play the characters in the play and we have also discussed the first act of the play the play three sisters has total four acts and among these four acts the first act we have discussed in the last lecture so i just recap whatever we have discussed in the last lecture and then we'll proceed uh, for today's discussion uh we discussed this play is written by anton chekhov we also discussed anton chekhov is a russian dramatist and short story writer so we have discussed the major contribution of anton chekhov to the literature he has written number of plays and uh, all these plays i have put on the screen then we have discussed the present play that is three sisters is written in 1900 and first performance or it is first performed in 1901 in the moscow art theater so the students uh, with this information uh, we discussed that the play three sisters is so the play three sisters is written in 1900 and first performed in 1901 at the moscow art theater we have discussed in the last lecture then we have discussed the characters the major characters in the play and the first character is andre or andre prozorov the play three sisters is about the prozorov family and andre is the only son in this play three sisters then the second character we come to know that natasha or natalia natasha is a local provincial girl she is the fiance of andre and she is also the wife of andre afterwards then three sisters in the family of prozorov what are the names of these three sisters olga masha and irina so olga is the eldest masha is the middle sister and irina is the younger sister in the family then we have kuligin he is a school teacher and is a husband of masha then we also discussed a military people or military persons first is lieutenant colonel versinan and lieutenant colonel versinan is a military man as well as he as well as he is a
okay sorry for the disturbance because someone is entering in this lecture so it is quite disturbing so come on continue so the characters we have discussed uh, these are the characters in the play the major characters andre is there then natasha is there prozrao's sisters olga is the eldest masha is the middle sister and irina is the younger sister then kuligin kuligin is a high school teacher and is a husband of masha then avarsinan is a military man he is a lieutenant colonel and uh, we have tuzin back he is also a lieutenant and another is solani he is a captain so jabutikin he is a army doctor and he stays in the uh, family of whom in the family of uh, prozorov then we have fedotik he is a second lieutenant and uh, road these are again minor character second lieutenant in that provincial village and uh, perapont is the servant or we can say the peon in district commission office and the last that is anfisa is the nurse in the uh, family of a prozoro so the students these are the characters i have highlighted these characters for uh, your information i will share uh, the notes of this paper on the group so just remind these characters why because it is very helpful to all of us to discuss the story of the play so uh, then i have put these characters to uh, in a tree diagram to understand in a better way so here we can find that these these characters are these characters are very helpful to understand see these are the three sisters irina masha and olga and raise the only one son we have discussed in the last lecture and this tree diagram shows their age andre was the youngest one masha irina and olga olga was the elder daughter masha is the middle and irina is the youngest daughter she was working in telegram office masha is a pianist or she used to play the piano in concert olga is a school teacher she remained the spinster and at the last i have put these names tujin back and soloni so these two people proposed to whom proposed to irina and uh, kuligin he got married with masha but their marriage is not successful so masha fall in love with varsinan then olga she wants to mar get marry but she remains spinster throughout the life andre is a young man he is a gambler he also works as a secretary in district commission office and he got married with natasha natasha is a, a local provincial girl and she has love affair with protofov and andre and natasha has have children that is bobik and sofia so these are the characters and the action of the play takes place in a provincial town so protofov is the chairman of district council in that town Anfisa is the nurse. She is the 80, 80 years old nurse in the Prozorov's family. Chubitikin is the army doctor. So the students, friend, uh, these characters are helpful to understand the play in a better way. Then we proceed to Act One. In the last lecture, we have discussed Act One was set in the house of the Prozorov's. It was a midday, and it is a bright and sunny day. Then. it was the celebration of irina's birthday on the 5th of march and it, it was her 18th birthday it was irina's 18th birthday we have discussed yesterday and it is also the first anniversary of their father's death is their father was died one year ago so it is a death anniversary and that's why all these military people or all these soldiers they visited to celebrate the first death anniversary of a uh, father so here we can understand that their father was uh, also a general in uh, military or general in brigade or he is a army man and he was died one year ago and they wanted to celebrate 
his death anniversary and that's where they come together or they come to the family of Rozerov and it is also the celebration of Irina's birthday so the play starts with the celebrative mood or the play starts with the celebration of a birthday and the first anniversary of the father of these people then the play introduces us uh, the major characters uh, we come to know Olga uh, who is the eldest sister we discussed yesterday then Masha she is the middle sister and she got married with Kulgin as uh, he is a school teacher and she got married at the age of 18 you know she, then we discussed Irina who is the youngest one and she has a full of expectations she wants to do, do so many things in her life and basically she wants to return to Moscow and then we comes to know we discuss yesterday that Andre is the only boy in the family and the sisters idolize him he is in love with Natasha and then at the last uh, we comes to know that at the very close of the play uh, of the first act of the play Andre confesses his love for Natasha and both got married so till this part we have discussed yesterday today we'll discuss this act in detail why because for the examinations point of view you should know every minor action takes place in the play so in the first act what happens so acts open with a comparison of a time see the first act refers to one year before and that was the death of their father and present day and how was the weather one year ago when there was the death of their father at that time that day was a very snowy day means snowfall was there the day was very dark one the day was or weather was not good it indicates something bad happened and the present day is sunny bright day means what this day is a good day so this act compares the past one year and this day or the day of Irina's birthday then this act uh, introduces the father of these three sisters and who was the father of these three sisters the father was general in command of a brigade in Moscow and he got retired from a brigade and he returned to where he returned to his native provincial town and he died okay then his family shifted from Moscow to provincial town and now they shifted since last 11 years so that time span is not that much uh, we can say they, re they return to town after the death of their mother and before 11 years before their mother was died means the mother of these three sisters or we can say Mrs. Prozorov was died then all these three sisters and even Andre they are passionately longing to back at home why because in provincial town they do not suit the environment so these three sister and Andre they are educated or we can say literate they have good standard a good class and they have manners etiquettes but in this town they could not find such kind of a things they feel there are the people they are ill-mannered or we can say they are not they don't have the etiquettes and that's why they do, they do not like uh, to stay in that provincial town and they are passionately longing to back at their home or where they born and brought up they wanted to ship to where they wanted to ship to Moscow so it is a celebration of Irina's birthday and for that birthday there are so many people come and among these people there is one person and name of that person was Varsinan Varsinan is a army man and he was stayed at where he was stayed at Moscow and now he got the transfer and he comes to that provincial town he is a 45 years old man and his ability is he talks a lot and not only he talks a lot but also he talks very philosophically he gives very philosophical thoughts he has a wife instead I can say he has two wives and he has mother-in-law means he stays with his wife and mother-in-law 
and two little daughters. But his wife seems to be very crazy. Why crazy? Because she attempts to commit the suicide just to annoy his husband. So this is the story of our Sina. He is a military man, got married, has two daughters, mother-in-law and wife, but he is not in his life happy. Then the uh, act goes to the philosophical talk in between Irina and Chabutikin. So now I introduce that Chabutikin is nobody but the doctor, army doctor, and he stays in the Prozrao's family. He stays in the Prozrao's family as a paying guest or on the rent. And for your information, this Chabutikin does not pay the rent for last eight months. He is staying there and he is not paying the rent or he is not paying that uh, uh, the money of uh, rent to the three sisters. And this Chebutikin has a love affair with the mother of these three sisters. And he loves, he is unmarried, he loves this. And here Irina and Chebutikin, they talk about the life and meaning in life. Irina says that there is no meaning in life and Chabutikin very philosophically explains Irina how life is meaningful. We have to look at uh, the perspective uh, towards a meaning and we can find the meaning. And then Irina comes to the conclusion that uh, though we do not, we are not happy in the life, we should continuously work in the life and we should put us busy and then we'll be happy in the life. So then play comes to uh, another daughter and that daughter is Masha. Masha is bored with this environment. The celebration of a birthday party is there but she is not happy with that celebration and she wants to leave that party and she wants to go somewhere else. She is bored with this environment. But when Varsinan comes there and when Varsinan talks philosophically, she changed her mood and she stays in the party. So then what happens, Anfisa and Fipont, Fipont is the servant of Protopog and Anfisa is the maid servant in the Prozorov's family. Both them were carrying a cake and that cake is given by whom? That cake is given by Protopog. And the cake is given to Irina to celebrate the birthday. And now they came with a cake and here we can understand that how Protopov is involved in Prozrao's family. Protopov is the, uh, we can say, chairman in district commission office and he involved a lot in, in the family of uh, Prozrao. Then act one begins. So Masha does not like the behavior of Protopov or Masha does not like the nature of a Protopov and that's why she uh, he is not invited in the party. He is not invited in the party or birthday party of Irina. So Protopo was not present there in the birthday party. And then Chabutikin comes with the birthday gift to Irina. And what is the birthday gift given by Chabutikin? The birthday gift is Samoa. Samoa means what? It is a Russian pot in which Russian people drinks tea. So present kunala irinala as a birthday gift. Then Varsinan introduces himself to the daughters, to these three daughters, and tell the tells the memories from Moscow. See Varsinan and the Mr. Prozorov they work together in one office. And Varsinan says that, I recall you three sisters, right? I cannot recall your names, but I can, I can recall your faces. And here we can say, Varsinan makes these three sisters to remember the memories of Moscow. And now they are remembering the memories of Moscow. And again, they are passionately longing for to go to Moscow. Uh, they, they want to return to Moscow. Why? because they want to live the life happy in the Moscow and their uh, feeling is that they can live happily only in the city Moscow. 
So Varshinan studied in Moscow. He began service in Moscow. He served there for years and he stayed at Old Basamania Street in Moscow. So Varsinan and these three sisters, they were stayed in one colony that is Basmania Street, or they stayed in that region in the Basmania Street. So a beautiful question can be asked on this. So you people should not take the note of these things. So Varsinan and these Rosarovs, they stayed together in Moscow or in the one colony, and they had many memories uh, belonging to Moscow. And now, as a young Versinan uh, was fall in love, and Versinan is known as a lovesick major. Okay, he is known as a lovesick major. And then Olga remembers, yes, I recall you, and you were called as a lovesick major. So recalls she recalls the memory of Versinan. She recalls they spent days together when she was a child, and here Versinan remains. Uh, we can say a kind of a memory of a Moscow to these people. So Olga does not like this provincial town. Why? Because it is so cold and there are so many mosquitoes. But Versinan is a fond of this place. See now, here is the contradictory we can understand. Olga and Versinan both spent their many years in Moscow and they both Olga and Versinan, they shifted to this uh, provincial town. Now, both have different attitudes or different approaches towards the life. Olga has a feeling in her mind, this place is dirty or this place is not good to live or this place is not worth to live. And Versinan is looking a joy in that place. Versinan says that this place is beautiful place. The climate is good, there are the rivers, there is the forest, there is the trees. So we can enjoy these things, we can enjoy the life. So from these two characters, we can understand, we human beings, how to look at the life. If we look at the life positively, we can enjoy the life or we can get the happiness, like Versinan. But if we look at, in the perspective of Olga, means there is nothing so we will be disappointed or will be dejected in the life so olga is a representation of we can say pessimistic and versinan is the representation of optimistic then students there is the introduction of another army man and he was a solani solani was a local man he was foolish he was a childish he was very rude and some of the dialogues i will share the play because play is very short one you can read the play also he used to make the noise chuk 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 why because he has that habit he is very childish like a child he used chuk 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 and he is very rude he is very foolish and he shares the joke which are meaningless okay he shares meaningless joke he is a very we can say uh, i will tell uh, one one incident from the play so uh, Natasha is very a uh, careful mother. She is taking the care of her son, uh, Bobik, and she says that Bobik is not feeling well. And Solen replies that you should not take such care. If I have such son, I will fry that son in pan and eat. So it is a meaninglessness. We can say uh, no etiquettes actually, and it is a childish man. And Solani, uh, next part of the play, uh, proposes to whom? Proposes to Irina. And how Irina rejects, we'll discuss that one. In the same act, there is an appearance of Andre, now uh, the only son in the Prozorov's family. He is considered as a scholar of the family. He's not actually the scholar, but he is considered. His sisters consider him, he is a scholar. And he expect to become a professor in the Moscow University. He was doing the PhD, he is writing the thesis, but unfortunately he does not complete his PhD, he never become the professor, but he become the gambler. He used to play the violin and he loves Natasha. And one more thing is that Andre has given a pretty means beautiful picture frame as a birthday gift to Irina. 
so he has given a picture frame to irina or he used to paint beautiful pictures also here we can find some good qualities of andre so here we can find that andre was initially very good character but as the play uh, we can say uh, proceeds or develops andre's character uh, we also decay so andre wants to translate a book from the english and andre knows three languages english french and german even irina knows four languages english french german and italian how because their father was a military man or army man and they get transferred in different part of the world and they can learn these languages or their father was very particular about the education of the people even their father was very particular about the health as army man he is a disciplined man and that's why these three sisters and andre they know uh, many languages or three or four languages but here we can understand that olga says that or masha considers that knowing these three languages there is no use in this town why because this town is the town of illiterate people if i know these three languages or four languages this knowledge is useless for me why because i can't do anything with these languages so means why masha says that it is not good to stay in this place i should or we can say go to where go to moscow and then in the act one itself natasha the character of natasha is introduced and let me tell the students that natasha is the local girl and she belongs to the provincial town and she does not know the manners she does not know the etiquettes and all other characters who belongs to moscow they make the fun of natasha natasha does not have a dress sense and she is supposed to marry protopov but did not even natasha is uh, we can say is not that much good looking girl but here andre falls in love and these three sisters does not uh, do not feel that andre will fall in love with natasha but he fall in love and he got married in the uh, end part of this act and then we comes to know the another character kuligin who is the teacher he also comes to that uh, prozorov's family for to attend the birthday party of irina and he presents a gift and what he presents the gift to irina he presents a book written by himself he himself wrote the book and that book is presented as a birthday gift to irina and what is the name of that book the name of that book was the history of our high school for 50 years and students let me know one thing to you that this kulgin has presented this book earlier to the same person that is irina on the easter day and he does not remember that and again the same book he presented uh, to irina as a birthday gift and irina says i already got that book from you on the easter day and again you are giving the same book to me as a birthday gift and then kulgin changed his mind and he gave that book the history of our high school for 50 years that book to whom to versinan why because versinan was present there he says okay versinan if you get the time read this book so and it was a sunday and uh, sunday was uh, we can say rest day kulgin was a school teacher and sunday was rest day and here kulgin gives the reference of uh, a roman people he says that roman people very well know how to work and how to rest to work rest is very essential and he says that today is a sunday and i will take a total rest and then he comes to meet his wife that is masha and he says that masha we are going to attend a uh, the party in headmaster's house in the evening in the sunday and masha rejected that idea and then there is a conflict in between masha and kulgin and here we can find that masha and kulgin does uh, do not have a good relationship kulgin and masha got married when masha was 18 years old and kulgin was a school teacher masha just left the school and she got married with the teacher that is a kulgin and masha was afraid of a kulgin why because kulgin is a teacher and masha says that initially 
I feel that Kulgin is very clever, very honest, uh, very handsome, or she, she considers that she is the perfect husband to her. But as the days passed, she feels that Kulgin is not that much intelligent or not that much clever, and her interest in Kulgin is also decreased, and she feels some emptiness in her life or in her married life, and then we comes to know that there is not good relationship in between Masha and Kuligin. And then Tujan back confesses love for Irina and proposes her to marriage. But of course, Irina does not accept Tujan back's love. And finally, all are having to lunch. So now it is afternoon and all these military people and Prozrao people, they come together, they are having a lunch and there are near about 13 people at the table and all these people they are they all are having a lunch or they all are uh, coming together for the lunch then natasha appears at the last part of the first act natasha appears and she was wearing a pink dress and which looks very odd in that party and all these people means Olga, Masha, Irina, Versin and all these people they make the fun of the dress of Natasha and Natasha got angry and she left the party and she left the party or she left the table and Andrew, Andrew follows her and confesses her his love and he wants to marry her and here students the first act ends. So. I hope you all understand this act. Uh, there is the request of, of some students to tell the story in Marathi. So within a five minutes, I will tell the story in Marathi of this act. Students, Mitra, know how to play a hai, kya is in attack a hai, three sisters. He natak kasha or other lela hai, third proser of family or other lela hai. He proser of family na ki kuto huti. तरी प्रोजर ऑफ फॅमिली ही मॉस्को या शहरामध्ये रशियातल्या मॉस्को या शहरामध्ये होती त्यांचे वडील जे होते ते मिस्टर प्रोजर ऑफ हे आर्मी मध्ये होते आणि ह्या तीन सिस्टर्स आणि ते अँड्रे हा त्यांचा भाऊ आणि प्रोजर ऑफ आणि त्याची आई हे मॉस्को मध्ये राहत होते पण अनफॉर्च्युनेटली काय झाले की त्यांच्या आईचे निधन झालं आणि त्यांचे वडील रिटायर झाले आणि हे सगळे कुटर शिफ्ट झाले त्यांच्या नेटिव्ह प्लेस मध्ये त्यांच्या मूळ गावी ते शिफ्ट झाले आणि जे मूळ गाव होतं ते प्रोव्हिन्शियल म्हणजे अतिशय खेडं होत आणि त्या खेड्यामध्ये शिफ्ट झाले म्हणजे यांचा जन्म आणि वाढ कुठं झाली तर मॉस्को मध्ये झाली पण आता हे कुठं शिफ्ट झाले ते एका खेड्यामध्ये शिफ्ट झाले आणि खेड्यामध्ये शिफ्ट झाल्यानंतर यांच्या आयुष्यामध्ये या ज्या थ्री सिस्टर्स होत्या किंवा हे जे काही अँड्रे होतं यांच्या आयुष्यामध्ये खूप मोठा बदल झाला यांना तिथलं वातावरण सुट व्हायला किंवा यांना तिथं नको वाटत होतं आणि यांना कुठं शिफ्ट होत होतं मॉस्कोला शिफ्ट होत होतं आणि प्ले सुरू होतो की तिथं शिफ्ट होऊन अकरा वर्षानंतर आणि त्या दिवशी पाच मे असतो आणि एरिना ह्या सिस्टरचा अठरावा वाढदिवस असतो त्याच वेळी त्यांच्या वडिलांचं पहिलं वर्ष श्राद्धा आपण त्याला म्हणू त्या ठिकाणी असतं आणि हे सगळे मिलिटरी पीपल ते वर्ष श्राद्धाने काय वाढदिवस साजरा करण्यासाठी प्रोजरावच्या फॅमिलीमध्ये एकत्र येतात आणि त्या प्रोजरावच्या फॅमिलीमध्ये एकत्र आल्यानंतर या ठिकाणी बरंचसं त्यांच्यामध्ये चर्चा होती की मग त्यामध्ये आपल्याला लक्षात येतं की तीन सिस्टर्स त्यानंतर हे जे काय सोल्जर्स आहेत हे सगळे सोल्जर्स हे सगळे सिस्टर्स हे काय करत आहेत त्या ठिकाणी दे आर वी कॅन से जस्ट अ मिनिट हे सगळे त्या ठिकाणी एकत्र जमत आहेत आणि पार्टी सेलिब्रेट करत आहेत त्याच वेळेला तिथं काय होत कि याच्यामध्ये आपल्याला लक्षात येत की त्यातले जी सिस्टर असते ओलगा ही ओलगा ही सगळ्यात 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 मोठी सिस्टर असती त्यानंतर सिस्टर म्हणजे माशा ही असते आणि त्याच्यानंतर इरिना ही असते आणि ओलगा ही स्पेन्सर असते माशा एक पियानिस्ट असते आणि इरिना ही काय असते एक त्या ठिकाणी एक सगळ्यात छोटी आणि त्याच्या एक्सपेक्टेशन खूप काही असतात की तिला काहीतरी जीवनामध्ये बनायचं असतं आणि काही फिलॉसॉफिकल टॉक त्या ठिकाणी होतं की जीवन म्हणजे नेमकं काय कसं जगलं पाहिजे कामामध्ये आपण व्यस्त राहिलं पाहिजे वगैरे 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 
आणि त्यानंतर आपलं लक्ष येतं की त्या ठिकाणी एक संघर्ष आहे की ग्रामीण भाग आणि शहरी भाग म्हणजे काय की लोकल प्रोविन्शियल टाऊन आणि मॉस्को आणि त्यामध्ये सुद्धा आपल्याला विरोध भाग कुठं जाणवतो की वर्सिनन आणि ओलगा की जे मॉस्को मध्येच बॉर्डर अँड बॉर्डर आहेत परंतु ते त्या गावाबद्दल त्यांचा वेगवेगळा विचार आहे त्या ठिकाणी वर्सिनांना ते गाव आवडतं तिथल्या नद्या तिथली झाडं तिथला डोंगर पर्वत हे त्याला आवडतं पण ओलगाला ते आवडत नाही ओलगाला कुठं जायचं असतं मॉस्कोला रिटर्न करायचं असतं आणि याच्यावर आपल्या लक्षात येतं की आपण प्राप्त परिस्थितीमध्ये कुठल्या गोष्टीला आपण महत्व देतो हे या ठिकाणी आपल्याला लक्षात येतं आणि त्यानंतर प्ले प्रोसिड होतो आपल्याला लक्षात येतं की माशा आणि कुलकींची जोडी जी आहे ती जीवनामध्ये सुखी नाही आहे त्याच्याचबरोबर आपल्या लक्षात येतं की वर्सिनियन पण मॅरिड आहे तो दोनदा मॅरेज झालेला आहे त्याचं पण तोही त्या ठिकाणी सुखी नाही आपल्या लक्षात येतं की इरिनाला त्या ठिकाणी तुझेन बॅच आणि सोलेनी प्रपोज करतात इरिना दोघांचा या प्रपोजल मान्य करत नाहीये नताशा की जी गरीब मुलगी असती त्या ठिकाणची लोकल मुलगी असती तिला सेन्स नसतो किंवा ड्रेस सेन्स वगैरे नसतो किंवा तिला इटिकेट्स नसतात की त्याच्या नता अँड्री अँड्री तिच्या प्रेमात पडतो आणि तिला मागणी घालतो लग्नाची आणि त्यांचं लग्न होतं इथपर्यंत आपण फर्स्ट ऍक्ट पाहिला नाव फ्रॉम हिअर विल डिस्कस द सेकंड ऍक्ट वी हॅव द टाईम विल डिस्कस द सेकंड ऍक्ट The student's second act opens in 1995, means two years later. It was a July month. It was the evening time. And the time was 8 o'clock in the evening. So this begins with Andrea and Natasha's marriage. So at the end of the first act, we discussed that Andrea and Natasha, they are going to marry. And in the second act, it opens with their marriage. And even they have the first child. And that first child was a baby boy, and his name was Bobik. Bobik is the son of Andre and Natasha. Here we can find that Natasha, a very poor girl in the first act, but she gets the power in the second act. As she got married with Andre, she took total control of the family, and she become the center of the family, or we can say she is the head of the family, and she is taking excessive care of her son. See now, she is taking care about the food and health. So she is taking too much care of, uh, we can say that, a uh, son, that is name of that son was Bobik. Then uh, the play proceeds and Ferapont, who is the servant, and the servant comes to Prozorov's family to meet to Andre and to give some papers. And Ferapont was uh, not good in hearing or you can say that he has uh, that big point he cannot listen very well andre and perapont has the discussion uh, have the discussion on what have the discussion on a life here we can say that andre being a married is not happy and in his career he is not happy and he wants to what he wants to share all his feelings with perapont why because his wife is not listening him he cannot he, he cannot share with his sisters and that's why he share with Ferapont his failure in career as well as his failure in life as well as his failure in married life why because Ferapont does not listen so he express himself but Ferapont does not listen anything so here we can find that the meaningness of life then Masha talks about her marriage and what she talks about her marriage at the age of 18, she got married with Kulgin and she was afraid of her husband. Why? Because he is a teacher. And she also tells that how Kulgin was intelligent, clever, honest initially, but as their marriage proceed or as their days passed, she is unhappy in her married life and she feels emptiness in her life. Irina, the younger daughter, tried off her job in telegraph office in the second act and she wants to change that job she is not happy in a telegraph office why because she feels that there is nothing thrill there is nothing poetic she cannot enjoy that job and that's why she wants to do the job in a better place and she has the uh, one job in her mind she wants to do the job on the airport so she is not happy in her present situation and she wants better things in her life so Irina share one incident from telegraph office. She says that one mother rushed in the office and she wants to uh, convey the death of her son. She wants to give that news to her relatives. And she wrote the matter, whatever her son was died. And she forgot to write the address on that 
later means what how life is that we do not know the destination and we are running that she wants to say from her then irina informs that andre lost 200 rubles rubles it is a currency russian currency andre lost 200 rubles where in gambling or in playing cards two weeks ago also he lost money and in december he lost money so she came to know that she comes to know that andre has lost so much money in where in gambling or in playing cards and she she feels that andre should lost all the money and andre should andre should sell this house and then we can uh, we can say go to moscow means what is her final destination her final destination is to reach moscow however by hook or crook she wants to reach moscow then chebutikin was staying there and chebutikin has not paid rent since last 8 months as i have already discussed chebutikin is also giving a philosophical talk to whom to these sisters but in practical life he is failed man and then fedotik gives gifts and the gift was colored pencil for irina see now here irina is just now 20 years old at the first but the time she was 18 years but now 2 years back and she becomes 20 years girl and he gave a colored pencil to irina and irina said that i am a grown up girl now so what can i do with this colored pencil so, but fedotik used that gift to irina in the meanwhile time version and got the letter from his daughter and in that dot in that letter it is mentioned that his wife is drinking the poison and trying to or attempting the suicide and versinan left that place or versinan left the house of prozrav and here we can find that till this point masha was very happy masha stayed in the party only for the sake of versinan and as versinan left the prozrav's family masha is also become disappointed or she become unhappy in the latter part of this act we comes to know that natasha is having an affair with protopov and that protopov was the superior or andre superior he is the chairman of a uh, district council now oh, masha comes home flushed from a night out and it is clear that she and her companion lieutenant colonel versinan are giddy with the secret of their mutual love for one another so masha wants to get married with versinan but versinan was already twice married and masha was attracted towards versinan only for the philosophic view of versinan and she also have pity uh, she also has the pity on pity on versinan why because versinan got such kind of a wife who is very crazy and then tuzin back and soleni both declare their love for irina or they declare that they wants to get married with irina and the students uh, here the second act ends so i hope i made some sense to you these two acts are very uh, we can say uh, meaningful for all of us to discuss the remaining act we will discuss day after tomorrow in the second act